Hey everybody, it's David Still. I'm hanging out with Will, Will Ray, and um, every time we get together and, and post a video, uh, inevitably questions come up that I can't answer. <laughs> so I'm gonna let Will answer because he's the man. So Will, the kind of the big one, I'm gonna pick up the camera here is, uh, what's the rig look like? What are we, what's the setup here? What are we playing through? Well, this is my this is my living room practice rig, and it's going through. Uh, my guitar is going into a Electro Harmonics D9 pedal because sometimes uh, uh, I like to get an organy kind of sound. Uh, then it goes from there into that's a, a Boss JS10 uh, portable amp right there. And the reason I like that is it, it's got a lot of programmable functions to it you know you can uh, you can you can uh, you can get in and tweak everything from the compressor to you know you got a plethora of pedals and stuff that you can you can uh, have th that can overdrive it or, or whatever you got a ton of different amp models and stuff and so I have different patches that work best in there for, uh, for different types of guitars. Like you want to have a different model, say if you're uh, using a, something with a humbucker pickup as opposed to a single coil pickup. And a P90, P90 is somewhere between a single coil and a humbucker. It's got a really pronounced mid-range. And I like to brighten up the top a little bit with the P90. So I have different models that uh, that I use with that. And right now it's on uh, user number 005, you know. And I have about maybe 15 different uh, models that are in there. They go from, start getting progressively more treblier and stuff. Then I'm, I'm, having it go into this little mini mixer and then i'm sending the signal to this cube uh, this uh, roland cube ex and because um, i like it's got two looks like uh eight inch seven or eight inch speakers and it's got a, it's got a nice tone to it and i just I'm just really using that. I've also got another cube, an older model there. It's kind of going through both of them. Uh, and uh, uh, I could go left and right channel if I want, but they're both basically doing a mono kind of channel. And, you know, I've got a, a, a Boss tuner hooked up right there so that I can uh, easily tune and stuff. And, uh, and that's... That's basically my rig, you know, and each model, like on this thing here, this is a patch number five, four. See how it's changing? Two, one. I can't get too complicated here or, or I don't know what I'm doing, you know, <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, that's like I hit something here and I don't know how to get out of, I know <laughs> just enough usually to, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save it because that's the, just Simple enough to make to you do. dangerous, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so I just try to keep it really simple. All I know is that I can go in there and and dial up um, the kind of models that I like with a particular guitar, and uh, and uh, I've already got things preset. And if I can't find, I I don't want to get too far off in the weeds with technical stuff that I'm doing when I'm in a creative mode because when you're when you're feeling creative you're kind of 
you're kind of in your, I guess your left part of your brain and you don't want to get your right, right part too involved with the technical aspects or it throws off the left part, if that makes sense. So I keep it really simple and uh, that's the way I roll.